So we're in the thick of winter, approaching Yule, and everybody seems to have coughs and colds. Um, so I thought I would just share with you a little video, real short one, of what I'm using to support myself and my family through the thick of this. I finished work a couple of days ago and obviously the body goes, well that's it, I'm going to pick up everything that you've been fighting off for the last six months. Um, so I started straight away on the yarrow and elderflower tea and uh, these are my go-tos. I've also created a little immunity boost blend there which also has oat straw and elderflowers in um, and yarrow. Oat straw is my base of all of my teas because it's so healthy and tasty, makes things easy to drink. Uh, lots of vitamin C, herbs and spices in there as well. Um, but if you only had two, these two would be it. And the reason for that is they're known to be breaking fevers. So they will help support the body to break a fever naturally, rather than suppressing it like a lot of allopathic medicines do. Um, and you can see the colour of the tea is quite lovely, that's the rose hips in there. Um, yeah, so one heat scoop, heat sort of tablespoon per person. Uh, boiling water and then infuse, you want to drink this one hot. So sort of five to ten minutes, add a little bit of honey because that's really soothing as well. And drink this tea three times a day. And that combined with all of the other things, so you want to be taking vitamin C and zinc, vitamin D. Um, I also have a cold and flu tincture, what I call my one pot tincture, which literally must have 15 different um, types of tincture in there. Elderberry syrup, rose hip syrup. Uh, all of these things you want to be taking while your body is fighting off a cold and flu. Um, so yeah, not only will yarrow and elderflower reduce a fever, both of them, both of them are antimicrobial, antibacterial. Um, on a magical level, they're both very protective plants. Um, the yarrow was carried around just as a, a flower itself to ward off evil. Um, young girls would use it to protect themselves whenever they were walking around on their own and the elder is long known as the witch's tree um, the mother elder teaching us about the cycles of life and death and rebirth uh, and so always treated with respect this plant and so yeah that's what I'm using to support myself at the moment now both of these will work well um, for the menopause as well if you drink the tea cold that will help um, break hot flushes so they can be used in different ways but for the same sort of thing and this is where you need to work with it on an individual level and see what works for you whether drinking it hot works better or drinking it cold depending where you are in your life cycle uh, and you know what's going on with you at that moment so I hope this has been helpful and um, yeah, let me know in the comments how you get on and what you use for your colds and flus and at this time of the year.